So guys, it's been six months since the release of the Oculus Quest 2 and I'm still getting asked the same question. How does the Oculus Quest 2 work? Well, we're going to answer this question today because the answer may surprise you. Let's not waste any time. Let's do this. So hey lads, welcome back to the channel. I'm VR Lad, and you are officially part of the VR Army. Today I'm back with something completely new for this channel. This is the first part in a new series where I explore the tricks that the Oculus Quest 2 uses to immerse you in the virtual world. The focus in today's video is how the Oculus Quest 2 headsets achieve the perception of depth. Now most of the things I cover in this video will also be relevant to other headsets as well, but if you like what you see today and want to find out more about how the Oculus Quest 2 works, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when the next video in the series drops. But first, let's play a game called Trivia. This game is simple, I'm going to ask you guys a VR oriented question and I want you to answer it in the comments section below. The right answer will also appear at the end of this video, so get your comments in early. Here we go, so who is responsible for creating the term virtual reality or VR and what year was the term created? I'm going to leave that with you, let's get back to the question at hand. How does the Oculus Quest 2 work? Well to answer this, we need to go back in time. So lads, believe it or not, VR has been around longer than you probably thought it has. Now, virtual reality technology was invented in 1957 by Morton Heilig. His multimedia device was called the Sensorama and is considered to be one of the earliest VR systems. Comey and Brian, two Philco Corporation engineers, created the first head-mounted display called the Head Sight in 1961. Now the Head Sight had two video screens, one for each eye, as well as a magnetic tracking device. It was the first motion track device ever created. Now the Head Sight was primarily used to move a remote camera, allowing a user to look around an environment without physically being there. Now obviously since then the understanding of VR technology only grew, with VR being used for anything from travel experiences to flight simulation. And by 1991, Sega refused to release their own VR arcade technology to the public over fears it would be too realistic. And let's not forget, in 1995, there was the Virtual Boy. We're just going to have a moment silent for the Virtual Boy. So how does this relate to the Quest 2, I hear you ask? Well, since the head sight in 1961, things haven't really changed. I know that's crazy to say, but to understand why, you must understand how the human brain perceives death. So first, what I want you to do is take your index finger and put it in front of your right eye. Now if you look through either eye, you will see different parts of your index finger. Now that difference is caused by the slight gap between your left and right eye, known as the binocular disparity. The brain receives two slightly different images in the primary visual cortex, and it uses that information to judge the distance of an object. It's pretty much the reason you could catch a ball or lift up that VR headset without any trouble. So the Quest 2, among almost all other headsets, takes advantage of the same binocular disparity by using an LCD screen to show a video or game to each eye at its own perspective, a left eye view and a right eye view. The Oculus Quest 2 then has two Fresnel lenses which magnifies the image to the eye and because all people are different, the distance between our eyes can be different as well. So it comes with a manual IPD adjuster and it lines up the image to the specific distance between your eyes. All these things combined then trick the brain into thinking there is depth where there isn't none. Now this is where some critics begin to cast doubts on the effect that VR could have on the eyes or the brain. Because the eye does not focus the same in VR as it does in the real world. Now this is the usual reason why people suffer from eye strain and headaches after playing VR for a long period of time. Now setting that aside for now, I find it really strange that the technology that runs our favourite VR headsets has been around longer than episodes of Doctor Who and we are still considering it to be new and we are still finding new and innovative ways to use it. Now are you surprised 
how long the technology has been around. One thing is for sure, VR will only continue to grow and will be around for a long time yet. Anyway lads, that's how the Oculus Quest 2 deals with depth perception in part 1 of our How It Works series. Now was that as educational as I hope it would be? Do you want more videos explaining how the Oculus Quest 2 works? Let me know in the comment section below. And on screen now you're going to see the answer to our trivia. Did you get it right? Let me know as well. But that's it for now lads. Thanks for watching. I'm VR Lad and I'll see you soon. Peace.